What's up everybody, Jared here with another brand new episode of Movies Explained! Wait a minute, hold on. Doesn't Game of Thrones come out this month? I've never actually seen an episode of Game of Thrones, so maybe I should do... Game of Thrones Explained Poorly! So yeah, if you're new to this channel, basically I ramble on, try to figure out the plot of Game of Thrones, explaining it horribly with some funny bits in there. So without further ado, let's explain Game of Thrones. Alright, so Game of Thrones is this sprawling story written by George Railroad Martin, and it kind of is like taking place in this medieval time. It follows all of these different families, or rather houses, and it gets very political very quickly. And one of the main houses of families is the Starks. There's Ed, there's Catherine, there's Tony, there's Pepper, there's Jarvis, and like I said, they're one of the main families living in this town called Lannister. But all of the different houses in this town of Lannister want the power of the Iron Throne. So Peter Dinklage, Draco Malfoy, Jason Aquaman's families, they all get together and they conspire against the Starks. While all of this is playing out, it's basically the first two seasons of this Game of Thrones. We're introduced to a whole bunch of different people and it's basically like a character select screen. We get Khaleesi, the Queen of Dragons. She has this flowing beautiful blonde hair. She can control dragons. She has them do her bidding. The Mountain, who is a huge dude, he's super strong, and he rips off this jouster's head. I learned that one actually from the Bud Light commercial from the Super Bowl. Um, there's a dude with no dick. I'm not entirely sure what his name is. Let's call him Terranus. And the White Walkers, who are like zombie-esque people who are white, and they walk. Anyways, there's tons of families, tons of characters introduced. They all come together for this lovely, huge wedding in the theme of red, coined the Red Wedding. There's red decor, red flowers, red cake, red drinks. Everything is in the theme of red. Anyways, all of these characters come together and they're killed one by one. Sorry. Um, so then the next few seasons kind of just play out, and it really focuses on this main character, Jon Snow. I think he's maybe somehow related to the White Walkers and has like these ice powers, hence the name Snow. But people think he dies, but then he actually comes back in one of the later seasons and he's alive, so it fools everyone. And then it keeps having these flash forward, flash backwards to these white walkers because they're slow at walking, but you want to be reminded that, hey, winter is coming. And then for some reason in the later seasons, there's this dude named Hodor, and ironically, he has to hold a door. He's basically a New York City doorman, you know, opening, closing, letting people in and out, depending on who they are. Anyways, in one of the later seasons, he's like, Hodor! Hodor! And he's holding the door shut because he's trying to let Jean Grey and Macy Grey escape because they need to survive to the last season. And at this point, it's coming down to the last season and people are still waiting, still wondering, when are the dragons going to Show up the dragons haven't shown up when are they going to show up but george railroad martin keeps tweeting out and he's like hey guys hey guys don't worry the dragons the dragons they're coming um so the final season is upon us it's coined or it's based on the book series of fire and ice so i think that at the end of this the 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 white walkers the king white walker is going to show up and use his ice powers against john snow it's going to be this epic like harry potter Voldemort and Harry Potter going at it, shooting each other, but the spoiler, this is the thing that no one's gonna see coming, is Jon Snow, you think that he's related to the White Walkers, has these ice powers? No, he's gonna have fire powers, go against the ice, and totally win, claim the Iron Throne at the end of it all. And that's it. It's a happy ending, or everyone dies. I really don't know. So that is it, me trying to explain Game of Thrones for never ever seeing a single episode. Did I even get close? Did I get a few things right? Am I completely off and I need to go watch this series? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways guys, let me know what other movies, series, television shows, anything you want me to explain poorly. I'm open for next month's Explained Poorly series. If not, I'll go back to some movies. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos over there, trailer reactions, movie reviews, fun comedy stuff. All of that jazz, JB Classics, follow all my social media stuff down there, click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, stay up to date on this channel's all of that jazz, blah blah blah. Until next time, I'll see you later.